your kindness is ruining you. Let me repeat that. I said your kindness is fucking ruining you. Stop letting family and friends breadcrumb you, man. Because they think your ass is vulnerable. They think you're willing to put up with whatever mess they got going on right now. They know you a yes man and they know you a yes woman. We got to stop being too nice. Stop being too giving to people, man. You got to start setting boundaries. Hey, man, draw that line. Because guess what? Your kindness is ruining you. It's breaking you. And you wonder why people are walking all over you. You wonder why people are using you, breadcrumbing you. Listen to me. You wonder why people are pocket watching you. You got some people out there, they're really pocket watching you. They got their eyes on your paper. Instead of having their eyes on their own paper. I know something I'm getting ready to say. And people know you out here winning. They know you out here successful. Amen. And guess what? They constantly got their hand out. But they would never give you a shout out. I know something I'm getting ready to say. Ain't nobody reciprocating the same love that you were giving them. They're not reciprocating the same energy that you're giving them. You got to stop it. Because let me tell you something, man. Every time you say yes to somebody, guess what? You didn't say yes to their problems. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. People know that you made it out of poverty, chosen ones. People know, amen, that guess what? You, you, God gave you a way of escape out that damn matrix. People know this, man. So you got to realize people are only going to call you when they need something. They're only going to call you when they want something. But when you in need, when you need help, when you need some advice, when you need prayer, they ain't nowhere near to be found. I'm talking about, man, you got family and you got friends, quote unquote, they will really be out here breadcrumbing you. They know you at this feast all by yourself. They know you got a whole big old feast. They just like little sad puppies, little, little starving cats at the end of the table waiting for all the crumbs to fall down. Understand, man, I'm getting ready to say right now. They never paid you back. Come on, talk to me. They never gave you no gift exchange. We ain't doing no gift exchange this year. We ain't doing no little raffle this year. Understand, man, I'm getting ready to say you still haven't got your gift from the gift exchange. You know why? Because guess what? People don't want to see you happy. don't want to see you with nothing. People ain't nothing but users and abusers and they walking all over you like a doormat. You wonder why you got all these different scars in your face. You're stressed out. They walking all over you to get to the old blessing that God has gave you. You wonder why you got soccer cliques and, 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 and boot cliques all over your face. You got people walking all over you. They know you're going to come to their rescue. They know you coming like Captain America. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, listen to me. We living in our last and evil days. Guess what? Self-preservation is first. Don't you be afraid to put it down below and say self-preservation first. If you paying your own bills, you don't owe nobody nothing. You ain't even got to explain yourself to nobody. If you paying your own bills right now, other than what I'm getting ready to say, guess what? You ain't got to explain that to nobody. Let me tell you something. You got to learn how to say the word in oh no without explaining yourself. But no, here it is. You want to overly give the people. You want to kiss and hug everybody. That's another thing. Stop that. Stop kissing anybody, hugging anybody. You ain't got to shake hands with everybody. We're in a season of we got to start reading the energy, energy around the room. Spirits is roaming around right now. The devil is looking. He's lurking for the vulnerable. He's looking, amen, for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the proud. And he, he's looking for the one that he can take advantage of. Listen to me, chosen ones. Do not allow people to get too close to you, man. You just like Jesus when you walk through. 
Everybody want to go touch the hem of your garment because they know you blessed and highly favored. They know you connected to the source. But don't you let nobody just grab onto your garment. Don't let nobody breadcrumb you. Don't let nobody feel entitled to your blessings. I don't know who this message is for, but your kindness is ruining you. You got to stop it. And then when the minute you say no, people start switching on you. They start changing on you because you said no. They so used to you saying yes, they don't know what to do with themselves when you say no. You got to take care of yourself, chosen ones, man. You got somewhere that you need to be. Uh, that's what I'm getting ready to say. It's levels to this. Listen to me. When you in a tight situation, ain't nobody coming to your rescue. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, chosen ones. When you're really going through it, ain't nobody going to help you get through what you're going through. I can see if people were giving like you. It's a difference. I can see, amen, people were kind like you, genuine like you, thoughtful like you, man. Ain't nobody even thoughtful like you. And that's what counts is the thought. There's nobody naturally kind like the chosen ones. You know, I'm going to keep it 100, man. There's so many evil spirits roaming around. There's so many selfish spirits running around. There's so many prideful and haughty spirits running around. Why you think God gave you the key to prosperity? Because he can trust you with what he's given you. Why you think God chose you for the mission? He chose you to break all their generational curses. Why you think he chose you to be the first multi-millionaire in your family? The first multi-billionaire in your family because he can trust you. And simply because of your heart, because of your kindness, people can't believe how you get to where you got to because they don't even know you got a good heart. You got a heart for people. But sad to say, man, when you really too nice, it can really get you killed. Being too nice can really get you killed out, out here. Sad to say, man. When you're being too kind and being too genuine, overly giving and overly nice, Overly hugging, overly handshaking, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. People like to take advantage of that. And that's why people have been taking your kindness for weakness. I don't know who this message is for. This is why your family been taking your kindness for weakness, chosen ones. They know who going who who willing to put up with they mess. They know anybody gonna deal with their drama, it's gonna be you. Stop saying yes to everybody's problems, man. You got problems of your own. Stop trying to save everybody because guess what? You got to save yourself, man. It's really getting that real out here, man. Just as much as you got on your grind and go get it, they can get on their grind and go get it too. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. People only call you if they need something. They only going to call you if they want something. You give them an inch, they take them out. And this is why you got to fall back. This is why, amen, you got to sit back and start taking care of yourself. You got to sit back, amen, and, and, and start listening to your intuition. God going to tell you who to give to. God going to tell you who to bless. But then again, God going to tell you, don't you answer that phone. God going to tell you, don't you say yes to these people's problems right now. Listen to me. Because it's ruining you. So don't let people take advantage of you because you're genuine, because you're kind. Don't let people use you. Don't let just people just take from you. Let me tell you something, man. You don't know how really kind you are. Until you start dealing with a narcissist. Other than something I'm getting ready to say. You know I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You don't know how really genuine you really are until you start dealing with an evil ass narcissist. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. All they do is take, take, take from you. Aren't you tired of these narcissists taking from you? Aren't you tired of these narcissists taking advantage of you? I don't know what this message is for. 
Narcissists come in family members. It don't, it's not all necessarily your ex boo thing. It come in your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, anybody, auntie, uncle. Narcissists run all over. And they're not about to run you over. You gotta, I'm trying to tell you, man, you gotta guard your favor, man. That's what I'm getting ready to say. You gotta guard your favor. You gotta protect your energy. Ain't nobody on your frequency right now. Get off of that phone. You already know they're calling you for a loan. Get off of that phone. Other something I'm getting ready to say. Because we out of favors, man. We out of favors, man. You blessed them enough. I don't know who this message is for. You done blessed your family. You done blessed your, blessed your so-called friends enough. It's time to keep on pressing towards the mark, man. It's time to get these the rest of these blessings that God has in store for you. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. Listen to me. You done work too hard for this. Stop letting people get too close to you. Stop mixing business with pleasure. You keep business with business and you keep pleasure with pleasure. Other something I'm getting ready to say. Do not mix business with pleasure. They're breadcrumbers. They pocket watchers. Don't let people get close, amen, to you, amen, asking you all kind of different questions and asking you this and asking you that. Don't let people get too, clo too close to you like that. Don't do that. Okay, let me tell you something, man. They showing you that, guess what? They're not going to give to you. They showing you that, guess what? They're not too nice themselves. They're not too nice. They're not going to allow you to get too close to them. You got to pay attention to people's energy. They ain't going to allow you to get too close to them. You ask them for something, oh yeah, they're going to give you what they want to give you. They're not going to give you exactly what you asked for. You got to pay attention to people like that. But if they ask you for a certain amount, you give it to them. You don't be tripping. Half of the time you give it to them, they're not a man or woman of their word anyway. They're not going to give it back to you. Oh, I'm going to give it back. I'm going to pay you back. They're not going to pay you back, man. They got you. They're bread crumbers. They want the, the, the leftovers. They want the scraps. Listen to me. And the way these same people that want the, the breadcrumbs, the same these people, amen, pocket watching you, they want what God giving you. Guess what, man? These the same people, amen, that counted you out, underestimated you, kicked your ass to the curve. You got to start realizing some stuff. You needed them, and guess what? They showed you that, guess what? They couldn't come through for you. And they didn't mind telling you. Yeah, Only because it's you, man. Trust me when I tell you, man. It's a cold-ass world out here, especially dealing with money, finances, dealing with material things. That's why you got to stay out the way. Trust me, when you are successful, you got to stay out the way. You can't be there for everybody. You can't be there at everybody beck and call. Stop answering the phone. I don't know who this message is for. Stop answering the phone. And fall back, amen, and start protecting your energy, guarding your favor. Protect them blessings that's coming in. And stop trying to be there for everybody. And one of the main things we really got to start protecting is our energy, man. I'm trying to tell you, you got to really protect your energy, man. I realize that, guess what? It's, it's, it's transfer of demons and handshakes, man. I don't want to shake nobody's hand like that no more. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Only if God lead me to shake your hand and if I know you real genuine, whatever, or if the, if the genuine is coming to me, it's different. But I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, man. People really carry on demonic spirits. You think I'm lying? And I see spirits on people before I even shake their hand. I just want to shake their hand just to see if that was confirmation. Listen to me. I ain't going to call no names, but I shook this woman's hand. This happened recently. But before I shook her hand, when I seen it, I said, wow, that's a demonic spirit on you. People carry on demonic spirits on them. They carry on a dark spirit, a dark energy. You can feel it on them. Listen to me. And when I laid eyes on this woman, I said, wait a minute. 
Let me just shake your hand just to see if I was right. Listen to me. Want me to tell you I'll shake her hand? That demonic spirit must have grabbed hold of my hand like he wanted to goddamn pull my whole hand off my wrist. I'm just going to get ready to say, I, I couldn't even let go after I shook her hand. I said, wait a minute, the devil is a liar. I said, you got a demonic spirit on you. Listen to me, chosen ones. Spirits are jumping inside of people because guess what? People ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. People don't got the anointing over their life. They don't really believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't have the love of Christ in them. Stop being overly kind to just any and everybody. Stop chasing people and chasing energy. You in a dangerous field. I have to learn that. You can't even go on dates nowadays. Because guess what? You're going to feel people's spirits immediately now. You go on a date now. You wonder why, guess what? They're not the same as they were over the phone. Trust me when I'm trying to tell you. Everybody trying to put, everybody trying to put their mask. They'll put their mask on their phone. Oh, they're going to make it seem like they did they this and they that. But when they meet you in person, it's a totally different spirit. You feel the evilness on people on a first date. You can't even go on a date no more. You can't even find yourself being compatible with nobody. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. That's why when you get to know people, it takes at least about a good two years to keep 100 with you. You got to really fall back and start getting to know people. You ain't got to answer the phone every time they call. True colors are going to start coming out in text messages. I understand what I'm getting ready to say. Protect your energy. Listen to me. Not only with dating, but with your family and with your, with your friends. I understand what I'm getting ready to say. They breadcrumbers. They think you're vulnerable. They think you're gullible. They think you a yes man and a yes woman. You're going to do any and everything that they tell you to do. The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar and the truth ain't him. Because let me tell you something. You're not about to put up with nobody else's mess this year no more. The, two, the year of 2025 is getting ready to be the best year that you have ever had in your life. I really feel that in the year of 2025. It's going to be the best year that the children have ever had in their life. Which means, guess what? We ain't tolerating no drama. We ain't tolerating no mess. We ain't tolerating no bull crap. We ain't, we ain't tolerating no handouts. They constantly got their hand out, but they'll never give you a shout out. Listen to me. And you constantly giving. You constantly being nice. You constantly being overly genuine. They don't give a fuck about you, man. So when are you going to finally wake up that your kindness is ruining you? Your kindness is breaking you right now. Listen to me. And you wonder why, guess what? You always end up, one, end up being the one, guess what? Left without. Your heart is the one that's being broken by being kind to somebody, overly nice to somebody. Because you expected them to reciprocate the same energy back to you. And when they don't do it, guess what? You get all your feelings. You get all, your, your heart get all broken. You get all deep in deep depression. But you got to realize, man, not everybody deserves your kindness. Understand what I'm saying? Not everybody deserves your genuine spirit. They need to be around you. Because guess what? They're not built like you. They don't have the love of Christ in them like you. Chosen ones. We really living in spiritual warfare at its finest right now, man. You got to realize, man, you genuine that they come. You realize they come. Just, just because, guess what? You, you, you decide to tell people, no, don't, 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 don't make it seem like you, 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 you acting all brand new and you bougie. You acting like, you, hey, man, you all that in the back of Doritos with a tiki punch on the side. You just finally awakening to how people are around you. You know people ain't nothing but users. You know people ain't nothing but beggars and breadcrumbers. You know people ain't nothing but pocket watchers. They constantly got their eyes on your pockets. Instead of getting to the money on their own. I know God made you a loner instead of a bar, but sometimes, guess what? You be like, ah, dang. I'm talking about, man, when you become successful, everybody hand going to be out. Trust me when I tell you. 
And then sometimes guess what? It gets to you because guess what? You're doing all this giving. You're doing all this, hey amen, just, just, just overly giving. Guess what? Ain't nobody giving you nothing. Now, what kind of shit is that? Ain't nobody giving you nothing. The least these people can do is support you and pray for you. Support don't take money. Hello? Let me repeat that. I said support don't take no money at all. Support takes effort. Giving you a shout out. Yo, I'm going to help you promote your business, man. I see you doing your thing. Ain't nobody doing that for you. Yo, I want to take you out to eat, man. I just want to cater to you today, man. You genuine, you real, you always looking out for me. Let me do something for once, man. You're probably the only time I can do it right now, but let me just do something. Let me tell you something, man. You, 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 I mean, you'll feel to realize, man, when people got money, man, they don't even think about you. Trust me. When people start making money, oh, they don't even think about you. They don't want to hear from you. When you in need, but when you're not in need, when you ain't looking for no handouts, when you out here getting to your own money, when you out here getting to your own bag, guess what? They're going to be waiting for the crumbs. Listen to me. And they constantly going to be leeching, bread crumbing off you. Listen to me. 20 turns to 40. 40 turns to 60. 60 turns to 80 and 80 turns to 100. I don't know what I'm getting ready to say. It all adds up. And by the time, hey amen, you really think about it, you're like, man, wait a minute. And overall savings, I done gave these people over at least 10000 or more, and they ain't gave you a nickel in return. If you borrowed some money or you borrowed something for them, you gave it back. Because you a real one. I don't know what this message is for. You a man and a woman of your word. Ain't nobody going to give you shit back because they feel entitled to your blessings. Oh, he going to forget. Oh, she going to forget. Oh, you'd be surprised what people do when they get you. Oh, I got her. Oh, we got his ass today. Oh, yeah, we going to get us some wine today. Oh, yeah, we about to turn up today. Oh, you'd be surprised, man. That's why you can't give everybody money. Start giving people an encouraging word. Come on. Start praying for people. Come here. Let me pray for you. Let me read you a scripture. Come on. Because I'm telling you what's going on, man. Your kindness is ruining you piece by piece. Breaking you into pieces. You're not even knowing. Breaking you in half. And you wonder why, guess what? People are calling you vulnerable. They're walking all over you. They constantly keep on using you. Every time you look up, they're using you, asking you for stuff. When was somebody going to say, let me cater to you today? Let me give you first class treatment today, man. Because I know if I go through a tight situation, I know you're going to have my back, man. Let me cater to you today. Ain't nobody doing that, man. It's all about what people can get out of you and from you, chosen ones. Understand what I'm getting ready to say? Don't you let nobody use you, amen? Christmas time is coming up. Thanksgiving is coming up. You stay out the way. And take care of the people who God tell you to take care of. Understand what I'm getting ready to say? Give them around these bread crumbers. Give them around these pocket watches. They pocket watching you and they're not adding nothing. They're not contributing anything to you. They're not supporting you. Hello? You know I'm going to keep it 100 with you. When you are successful, your own family is not going to support you. Your own group of friends, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. When you become successful, they're not going to support you because they hating on you. But they feel to realize, hey, go ahead and hate on me. It ain't going to change me. People fail to realize on the real reason why God, amen, plant your feet on higher ground. Why he made you rule over many nations. Because of your heart, because of your kindness for other people. I don't know what this message is for, but don't you ever forget what you did for people. They might forget what you did for them. 
They might overlook your kindness. Understand what I'm saying? But let me tell you, don't, don't you ever forget what you did for people. God is not going to forget what you did for people. Listen to me. Everything that you did for people was out the kindness of your heart. You think God, hey amen, is not blessing because of what you're doing for other people? God sees everything. God knows your heart. That's why God keep on blessing you. That's why God keep on raising you up. That's why God keep on elevating you because you are a genuine person. And you want the best for people, man. You ain't praying on nobody else's downfall. You ain't hating on nobody. You ain't jealous of nobody. We don't want to be jealous of all this materialistic shit on this earth, folks. We can't take none of this crap to heaven. All this stuff is for rent. We don't own none of this shit. So you got to realize one thing, one thing only. Chosen ones, protect your energy, guard your favor. Draw that line and start setting standards, setting boundaries. They're calling you selfish because you know why? You're harder to manipulate. That's why they're calling you selfish. They're calling you brand new because guess what? They so used to the old version of you. Old version of you being gone. Don't you be afraid to put the blow and say the old version of me being gone. You right, I am brand new. You right, I am making new boss moves. Let me tell you something, we don't got time for the bullshit no more. We ain't got time for it. Aren't you tired of people just constantly withdrawing from your life like an ATM machine? They is not making no deposits. I don't know what this message is for. Just as much as I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. I'm getting tired of it. Cause ain't nobody gonna do a goddamn thing for me. And once God starts showing you how people really feel about you, once God starts showing you people's true colors, let me tell you something, man. You ain't gotta give them a goddamn thing. You ain't gotta explain yourself to these people. Stop explaining yourself to these demons. No means no. Move around. Because you're on your way to the next level. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. People know you're on your way to the next level. That's when they're going to come out of the blue, clear blue sky. With their hand out. And gave you not one shout out. But they're going to shout everybody else out. But what is that one chosen brother? That one chosen sister? I don't give a damn about you. Because they're not a part of this success journey like you. They're not a part of this success journey with you. Ain't nobody going to be happy for you because guess what? They came to be a part of the success with you. So in all actuality, you don't own nobody's shit. You don't got to prove that you're real to these fake people. Because when you was in that real tight situation, let me tell you something. It started exposing fake people around you. This is why you don't owe people shit. Because when you didn't have shit, didn't nobody give a shit about you. And you told people about your situation. Don't you forget the people you told. It went in one ear, not the other. Oh, they were so happy to see you fail. They were so happy to see you struggle. It went one ear, out the other. Oh, they slammed that door right in your face. And guess what God did? He reopened that door. That's why you got to be very, very careful how you treat the chosen ones. That's why you got to be very careful on trying to play and manipulate and gaslight the chosen ones. God don't play about the chosen ones. You can't even go on a day good without people asking you how much you make for a living, what you do for a living, how much you making. It's none of your damn business. I'm starting to realize some stuff. People carry on a spirit of jealousy. It's like a competition in dating now. You don't even want to date no more because people are in competition with you. 
People want what you got. And you're like, man, you can get the same shit. Listen to me. That's why you don't just let people just get all too close to you. Knowing all your business, you sharing all your social media, being kind, oh, here's my number, here's my social media, we gonna hook up, we gonna get to know each other, let me tell you something, man, the minute they find out who you really are, here come the jealousy, oh, they energy get ready to switch, they gonna try to use you, breadcrumb you, oh, they come in the pocket, watch you, oh, they know what you do for a living, they know who you are, oh, yeah, they coming for you, because you allow this bullshit. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. When you are chosen by God, you tell them back, back. You don't know me like that. Don't you be afraid to put in comment below and say back, back. You don't know me like that. Don't let people just get too close to you. I don't give a damn who they are. I don't give a damn how fine they are. Back, back. You don't know me like that. Listen to me, chosen ones. They might be fine and all, but ain't nobody finer than you. You better know your value. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. You better know what you bring to the table, baby. And say, back, back. Have a seat over there. Let me get you. Let me get to know you from a distance. When you go on dates, let me tell you something. You ain't got to spend top dollar. It's just to prove a point to people that you're real. Take them somewhere for free. Walk them on a uh, walk them on the beach and get to know all these people. Let me tell you something, man. Cause all that money that you made, all that money that you out here making, let me tell you something. You deserve it. You earn it, baby. Get somebody who's gonna meet up on your frequency. Get somebody that's gonna cater to you. That's gonna give to you. Give them somebody, amen. Where both of y'all fighting on who gonna pay over the bill. Y'all can't stop laughing on who gonna fight, who pay over the bill. Give with you somebody like that. And wonder why your ass every time I go out. You taking the tab. We not doing that no more. Every time, amen, they ask you for a favor, you coming through for them. But when you asking for something, they got to question you. Why do you need this? When can you give it back to me? And they will hound you like a little dog. Until they get their money, little money back. We got to stop being overly nice to these people. And stay in your lane. God going to tell you, amen, who to give to. God going to tell you who to bless. God always speak to me and tell me who to bless, who to give to. That way people going to respect you. They going to know not to cross you. They going to know not to use you. You back back and give me 50 feet. Back back because you don't even know me like that. I'm talking about people you don't even know. Back back. You don't know me like that. All it takes is that one moment, that one slip up. You starting to be overly nice and overly kind. Now somebody done backdoor you. Now somebody done set you up and trap you. But we rebuke every trap and every setup in the name of Jesus. You ride this thing solo dolo to the death of you. Don't you trust a soul out here? Other than I'm getting ready to say. Because right now, your kindness is killing you. It's ruining you right now. I realize, man, you got to really, really have that, that tough mentality, man. You got to have that no mentality. You got to really have that no mentality. Excuse my French, but sometimes you got to have that F you mentality. Sometimes you got to say, you know what? Shh, shit, excuse my French, but sometimes you got to say F you. I'm good. Because I already know what you on right now. You got people really sitting back and they pocket watching you. They bread crumbing you. Constantly got their hand out. Constantly waiting for every crumb to fall off the table. You having a big feast and they, they look just like the little starving cat. They like the little starving dog at the end of the table. And they just looking up waiting for a bread crumb to fall. They waiting to leech off you. I don't know what as much as it's for. They waiting to use you for every dollar you got. Run for your life and don't you look back. Because when God blessed you, guess what? He blessed you, chosen ones. And stop being overly nice, overly genuine, and put people in their place 
Tell people to stay in their lane. Ain't that much love in the world. Because we already been through this road already. Being vulnerable and gullible. Don't you forget you were vulnerable and gullible before in your life. That's how you got manipulated and gaslighted and used before. We're not going through this again. Stand up for yourself for once. Start standing on business. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, I'm standing on business. I'm going to stand up for myself for once. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, you're not going to use me. You're not going to break me. You're not going to keep on taking a withdrawal from me. I'm not no ATM machine. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, I'm not no ATM machine. Ain't nobody making deposits. Hey, let me bless you, brother. Let me bless you, sister. I'll say you out here doing your thing. I just want to bless you. And they're not even doing it. The Bible says, give it. It shall be given unto you. Every time I give, it come back. You got to realize that nobody served like you. And people want to be great. People want to be in your position. They want to be the one that God chose. But nobody want to serve like you. In order for you to be great, you must serve the Lord. But nobody believe in serving. Nobody believe in giving. There's some grimy, evil people out there. Selfish people. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. They don't know nothing about hospitality. Nothing about serving. Nothing. And you wonder why. Guess what? They'll never give to you. They'll never serve you. They don't give a fuck about you. That's all I did all my life was serve people. That's all I did all my life was give to people. People wonder why I'm so blessed right now because it's my time to get blessed. Don't you be afraid to put your below and say it's my time to be blessed. Don't ask me what I'm doing for a living. Don't ask how much money I'm making. Just know that it's my time to get blessed. Don't you be afraid to put your below and say just know it's my time to get blessed. If they ask you what you're doing for a living, you say I do my best. So tell everybody what you do for a living. They're, they're eventually going to find out. And give them around these bread crumbers. They go for your family, your friends, everybody who got their hand out. Because you can't save everybody. You cannot help everybody. What part you don't understand? You got to save yourself. You got to protect yourself. I don't know what this message is for. And stop allowing your kindness to ruin you. The minute you learn to say no without explaining yourself, I'm telling you, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to have less problems. Stop saying yes to other people's problems. Fall back. The minute you start saying yes to people's problems, now you're a part of the problem. Fall back. You ain't Dr. Phil to everybody. You tell them I told you to fall back. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. You saying yes to everybody problems. Coming to find out, guess what? Now you stressed out. Now you drain. You tired. You ain't got enough energy for yourself. You done gave everything now. Guess what? You ain't got nothing for yourself. That's one of the worst feelings ever is to give out everything. And guess what? You ain't got nothing for yourself. That's one of the worst feelings ever. Then you, you to your well ran dry. And they only coming back when they get dehydrated. They come back, you give them a bottle of water and tell them God bless you and keep it pushing. At least I want you to stay hydrated. Here's a bottle of water. God bless you. But you know what I'm trying to say, man. Stop letting your kindness and being overly kind and overly giving. Come on, talk to me. Giving a shirt off of your back. Pouring into people who not pouring into you, man. You know what I'm trying to say, man. People think you're vulnerable. They think you're, you got a soft spot. They think you're weak. They can use you whenever they want to use you. They can walk all over you with soccer cleats on whenever they want to walk all over you. I'm trying to tell you how people will do you. They will use your kindness for weakness. What part you don't understand? If you're tired of your heart being broken, stop being so kind. If 
If you're tired of being used, guess what? Stop letting everybody, hey amen, get all up in your pockets, all up in your business. Stop it. And just know, guess what? What God got for you is only going to be for you, man. You've been through too much to get this breakthrough. You didn't did what you had to do to get this breakthrough. I don't know who this message is for. You didn't did what you had to do to get this breakthrough. People got to catch up to you. I don't know who this message is for. But you done left a lot of people behind. Do not allow everybody to pull up a chair to your table. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. Once they're at their table, guess what? They start pocket watching. You can't even do nothing nice to somebody without them pocket watching. Bread crumbing the next day or the next week. Stop it. That's why a dog should never be at the table when you eating. You tell the dog you go enjoy your dog food and we over here enjoying our feast. You know what I'm trying to say right now? They're at the end of that table and you allowing people to pull up a chair to your table. You allowing easy access to your energy and to your genuinity. Oh yeah, I got you. I do this for you. I do that for you. And guess what? You got people stabbing you in your back and then they got the nerve to ask you, why are you bleeding? I'm talking about you got some people that will really stab you in your back and they got the nerve to ask you, why are you bleeding? Are you okay? And they know, guess what? They just stabbed you in the back. They know they just stole from you. They know they just used you. They know they just got over on you. They just won up on you. Because you were being too nice. You were being too kind. At least when you alone, can nobody backdoor you. Hello? Watch your back and your front, your side, everywhere else. You need to watch all around you and keep on pressing towards the mark. There's a lot of breadcrumbers out here. You tell them to get on their grind. We got to start giving people a positive word. Because it's getting out of hand right now. There's panhandlers on every corner now. And I'm not saying it to be mean, but you got to start paying attention. God give you intuition on things. Listen to me. You tell people to get on their grind. Hey, I want the best for you. Let me pray for you. You can make it. Start giving people an encouraging word. Get out here and get on your grind. They told you to stay strong. When your hand was out, they told you, hey man, you're going to get through it. You're going to be all right. And gave you nothing. We could at least pray for you. They didn't want to do that. Because they do not want to see you doing better than them. And the minute you start doing better than them, everybody hand out. Listen to me. They do not want you to accomplish your dreams. Your fake family members and them so-called friends, they do not want you to fulfill your dreams. But guess what? You done made the devil out of, out of a liar. You done made them out of a liar. You a dreamer. You just like Joseph. Just like Joseph's brothers laughed at Joseph when he told him about, about his dreams. You can't tell everybody about your dream. Because everybody ain't dreaming like you. Everybody don't have that faith like you. Everybody ain't got that grind in them like you, man. And you out here getting it out to mud, straight mud. That's why, guess what? Don't be weary and well-doing. You getting ready to reap if you faint not. Give them around people who constantly advertise their wrongdoing. I don't know who this message is for. You constantly around people who advertise their wrongdoing. Let me tell you something. Don't you do it. People know you're on a straight and narrow. They know you following Christ. They'll do anything for you to block your blessing. Don't you do it. They know you're on this high frequency. Don't you do it. Don't stoop down to the enemy's level. Because the time is right to always do what's right. The Bible did not tell you to be too nice. and not tell you to be too kind. It tell you to do what's right. So I'm going to tell you right now, chosen ones. Fall your ass back and take care of you. 
And God gonna show you who to bless. He gonna show you who to be kind to. He gonna show you, he gonna reveal to you, man. But you can't help everybody. You cannot save everybody. I tell you, your kindness is ruining you. I don't know who this message is for. Your kindness is ruining you right now. And you wonder why you stressed out over somebody else's problem. And you got problems of your own. It doesn't make any sense. Stop it. And just know that when God bless you, he blessed you for a reason. Because of your heart, because of your kindness, because of your genuine spirit, man. Everybody cannot put a chair to your table because they're not able to sit at your table, baby. So I don't know who this better is for, but protect your kindness, protect your favor, protect your energy, and protect the blessings that God has given you, man. Because what God has for you, baby. It's only for you, baby. We the chosen one.